Hello guys, hope you are having a lovely day. I am Divyan Chakravali and you are watching Tech University. Today I have brought you another brilliant data science course that is offered by Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. And let me tell you about IISC Bangalore. It is always ranked number one in India by QS and NIRF. So this is one of the courses that you must be looking for. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know about the program fees, the program structure, course curriculum, student fellowships if there are any and the course fees. I'll be telling you everything about this course and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends who are looking for data science courses. Now if we talk about this course MTech in Computational and Data Science this is offered by the Department of Computational and Data Sciences which is dedicatedly established by IISC for this particular course. Now if we talk about the course structure there are 14 credits that you have to complete from the hardcore courses 10 credits you have to complete from soft core courses you have to write a dissertation of 28 credit points and finally you have to select a subset of courses uh, from the electives which ranges for 12 credits so in order to be eligible for an MTech degree you will need to complete 64 credits there are five courses which goes under the hardcore courses which you have to compulsorily follow these are introduction to scalable systems numerical linear algebra numerical methods data analysis and visualization and research methods and there are six course buckets which is in the soft core courses you have to select a minimum of three and you can always select six of them if you want to study all of them these are numerical optimization ml with large data sets scalable systems for data science numerical solution of differential equations modeling and simulation and parallel programming and finally in the final year of your mtech you will be writing a dissertation against a project that you will be selecting so that would be worth 28 credit points and finally there is a long list of electives that they have given here you have to select 12 credit points out of this so i will pass this link into the video description you can always look into these courses and select which courses you would like to study after that they have given an explicit course description for each of the course and also the faculty name so they have completely set up a transparent system and you can always know which faculty is going to teach you which subject now if we talk about the admissions process so the admission applications generally opens just a week after the gate exam so this time it opened on february 2022 so for the next year as well give or take it will be uh, february third week and it will last around one month one thing to make sure is you need to have a valid gate score so because the very first shortlisting is done on the gate score and this gate score should be very very good in order to get you into this course i mean i already told you that this university is ranked number one in india for the past few years and uh, they have selected very few people for this particular course so you need to make sure you have a exceptional gate score and even after that the short listing will be done on this gate score you will have to appear for an online aptitude test and oral interviews they have given the dates for that and before that you will be going through an orientation process and uh, after that uh, they have also given the weightage so 70 percent of the weightage would be given to the gate score and 30 percent weightage would be given to online aptitude test and oral interviews that they have given combined now if you talk about what are the application procedure so this is the application procedure page now you will have to log in yourself you have to register yourself on their application portal and for that they will be asking you the name password date of birth email address category security question and answer in, our, in case you forget your password of course and uh, then you will have to verify yourself by that mail they will be sending you a mail and you have to verify your identity then you can log in and uh, you can upload the certificate mark sheet of 10 to 12th standard the details of your gate exam uh, the payment option that you will be choosing so the application fee for general category EWS or OBC students is 800 and for SCS, TP, WD it is 400 and a scanned image of your passport size photograph and your signature you have to upload and you have to upload a caste certificate if you have given that you are belonging to the reserved category so they have given some screenshots here after that so this is the tab one you have to completely uh, fill up the form and the mandatory fields you have to complete so these fields are gender nationality state of domicile country all these fields basically 
and uh, then of course after you move to tab 2 then you will be asked to either for the preference of departments so for departments will be uh, typing in the department of computation and data science after that they will be asking you the branch and specialization so you will have to select this mtech in computation and data science and status class uh, details of gate basically you they will be asking your registration number and the gate paper number after that you will be moving on to tab 3 which is essentially the details of qualification you will be uh, telling them about 10th standard details 12th standard details undergraduate details and postgraduate details if you have any so uh, you will be asked about the degree uh, branch which you pursued and year of passing university semester wise marks percentage gpa and all that stuff for postgraduate and undergraduate alike and then you will be moving to the tab 4 which is the application fees here you will be paying the application fees according to your category and the mode of payment is of course the net banking mastercard visa card debit or credit cards you can make payment through any of these modes and finally you can print your application form in a pdf format and you are good to go you have applied to iisc mtech in data science now if you talk about the fees and scholarships so uh, every student who is enrolled to this particular course is entitled to a fellowship because this is a publicly funded institute and the master students always get some sort of stipend in order to get their things done so here in india for mtech courses there is a stipend of 12400 per month that is given to the student uh, so you will be receiving this amount per month so this is a very decent amount that they are giving and uh, now if we talk about uh, the fee structure so for general OBC or EWA student fees goes into this category so these are the breakups and the total amount would correspond to 29,200 for a year INR and if you talk about two year course fees it would correspond to 58,400 INR and for SCST category uh, this is the bracket range and uh, it will be 20,200 for one year INR and for two years it will be 40,400 INR now if we talk about the scholarships apart from this there are some private scholarships that are offered and this is the page of scholarships so I don't think they have updated it after 2018 but these are the scholarships that were given before 2018 and 2018. So there is this GE Healthcare MTech Fellowship, Tesco, Target India, Maersk, Rico. So these are all big private companies giving the MTech scholarships to the students. And even in 2017 there was Microsoft Data Science Fellowship, Intuit MTech Fellowship, Narayan Netrale and then ericsson ge healthcare again tesco target india cargill india there are government fellowships i mean these are mostly for the research programs and for doctoral research so this this will not be available for the pro for this program and uh, uh, finally they have given some links for the external fellowships as well you can always go through them i will paste this link as well into the video description now if you talk about the rest of the things so these are the admissions faq now i will go to some of the questions not all but some of the questions this one is the question i have completed be btech degree can i apply to both uh, mds and mtech research programs yes provided you are having a valid gate score so for getting admitted into mtech computational test science gate eligibility is mandatory and of course they have given the gate cutoff varies uh, there is another question i do not have a gate score can i still apply to cds research program if your basic qualification is mtech you do not need to have a gate score for applying to the phd programs also students who have a bachelor's degree from centrally funded technical institutions so if you have a bachelor's degree from cfti's so centrally funded technical institutions are generally these iits and all so if you belong to one of these institutes and have a gpa of 8.5 or greater you do not need a gate score so that is a good option you don't need to appear for gate if you are from cfti's and have a gpa of 8.5 you don't need to give gate you can directly apply to it however i would suggest that if they have given the gate score uh, you go for the gate exam and even strengthen your profile further after that another question is i'm a working professional uh, do you have any part-time programs the only part-time program currently cds is hosting is phd in erp 
so there is no part-time program so for this particular course you need to be available full-time there then uh, there is this question i am an scst candidate is it mandatory for me to attend the pre-interview familiarization programs they strongly advise you to attend the pre-interview but it is not mandatory for you to attend it you can directly attend the interview and written tests after that how many openings are there for mtech computational and data science so the total number of openings are 30 that includes the reservation as well so you need to be in top 30 in order to get into this program so i i already told you you need to have an impeccable gate score and an academic background which is worth mentioning into the interview so it is one of the most competitive courses so that's it that was all about this particular course i hope you liked the video i will continue to post similar data science courses on this channel and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you want to know about other data science courses and please share it with your friends who are looking for data science courses it would be really helpful for them as well and i'll keep posting such videos till then au revoir